Thanks very much, Jenna. Amanda Nash from the Heart and Stroke Foundation joining us this morning to talk about the DASH diet. First of all, what exactly is that? DASH diet is a dietary approach to stop hypertension okay. and it's actually one of the most effective ways of eating to manage your high blood pressure or for people who have normal blood pressure to prevent high blood pressure. So this is a diet that anybody should really follow? Adults? Yeah. And I, I say diet very loosely. It's not okay. necessarily a diet. It's a, it's a pattern of eating. It's a lifestyle. Okay. So there's three steps to it? Yes, there is. Okay. So the DASH diet, it focuses on fruits and vegetables, on lower fat milk products, and on reducing your sodium intake. So we're looking at getting eight to ten servings of fruits and vegetables per day. Would that be this plate or is this more than that? That would be probably a little bit more than that. Okay. But really if you're getting fruits and veggies into every meal and every snack, you're on the right track. Eight to ten, it can sound like a lot, but it's mm -hmm. actually not that much. The size of a tennis ball, about half a cup, is a serving. If we're looking at something like dried fruit, dried vegetables, a quarter cup. And for something leafy, we're looking at about one cup. Okay. So it's actually not that much. For our lower fat milk products, yogurts, cheese, milks, those are all really great options to get your three servings in per day. And then lowering your sodium is key as well. We know one in three people who have high blood pressure could have normal blood pressure if they decrease their sodium intake. So it's something you can undo, sort of. Well, it's something we can take steps to, to reduce through, okay. our, through our diet. 77% of our salt intake is coming from processed convenience and restaurant foods. So although removing the salt shaker from the table is a really great start and experimenting with other flavors in your cooking, that's an easy 11% out of your diet. We really want to focus on those processed foods as well. Okay. And then these guys here, these are? 11%, uh, 12%. 12% okay. is naturally found in our, in our system. And that's um, okay to that's have. Okay. Well, it's, it's going to happen. It's okay. okay. We do need some sodium in our diet. It's a mineral, and it has a very important role in the body. We just don't want to have excess. And with 77% of our intake coming from processed convenience foods, that's where we should really focus our, our energies to decrease our sodium. And when we talk high blood pressure, some people might have it and not even know it. You're exactly right. It's often called the silent killer because of that. Everybody has blood pressure. Blood pressure is the force of your blood against your blood vessel walls. It's like a garden hose. When you turn the garden hose on, the water against the garden hose walls puts some pressure. Same with your blood pressure. You need that to get the blood through the body. But when your blood pressure is consistently high, and consistently high would be 140 over 90 or higher on a regular basis, that's when you want to be concerned. Because we know high blood pressure is the number one risk factor for stroke, and it's a major risk factor for heart disease. Scary stuff that could be prevented or helped a lot, at least reduced exactly. with proper diet. So Lifestyle is a great way to manage blood pressure, but sometimes you'd have to look towards medications as well. However, some research has shown that eating with the DASH diet, you can actually reduce the amount of blood pressure medications that you're on or control it with just the diet alone. So lifestyle is a very powerful tool when it comes to blood pressure. Okay, and to make sure that you're getting started on the right foot, you're gonna join us again a little bit after seven o'clock with a great recipe. This is a pear and fig Caramelized onion flatbread? Yes, exactly. Looks delicious. All right, that's coming up right now. We'll check in with Jenna. Or taking a quick break. Right back.